Hello guys, I made this video before but I deleted it for some reason and after a while I thought I can actually make it again because I recommend this method to a few friends of mine and they was like hey it's really work and it's not only for you and they had really lower computer than me even than my older one so I thought I can make it again and help out so this is as you see in the description or more like in the title it's how to help with our laptop overheating because laptops overheat like it or not <laughs> they do if you don't make anything they will overheat pretty bad and will fuck up the components of your computer you have to bring it to for fix and they'll take it tons of money because you wasn't careful or even they cannot help you which is more sad i used my hp for four years and in like last half year it was overheating pretty bad and it's just stopped working like it was playing things that I cannot play now but anyway so uh, what I want you to do first is take a program if you don't have that will actually show you how to fix uh, how to see your temperatures um, you can open Google and type CPU Z and come in this site it's completely free um, that's not the program, but you can also take it for more details about your computer. I have it. To be honest, I have it. Um, you want to go in software and take this one. You, you can take this one if you want, but it's not that paid one. It's the free one and it work fine. Uh, I took the zip one because I don't like installing things. And here you can find 64 and 32 bits with completely non-installable things. Just um, extract and run it so after I already have it I will run it and this is the thing and you see not only your temperatures but also your voltages and some power things and I'll just leave the temperatures because we don't need anything else right okay we don't need the battery so we have our hard drive we have our um, chipset and we have our um that should be our video card or maybe not it may be our uh, whatever motherboard whatever that's that's the temperature you, you should see in as you can see i have temperatures 41 41 36 36 and 32 40 and that's because i i run my computer like 30 minutes ago and I haven't started anything hard in order to overheat it, but um, I want to show you the first thing you can do, which I forgot to change the place where I'm recording and it will not, now not change, but anyway, so I want you to open your battery, you see, it's down next to your clock, and then uh, I have balanced mode where I have made the changes and here's my high performance where I have no changes and check this out you see the temperatures they rise instantly I'll explain you in a bit why um, so we are opening uh, more power options this window will pop up and then change plan settings then change advanced power settings and uh, you should see this one make sure you have selected the plan you want to change then scroll down to power processor power management and you see here your minimum and your maximum speed your minimum is probably 5 if you are on balance or something lower um, and your maximum should be 100 well, I want you to lower this maximum speed maximum state because um, let me open my task manager okay see 
that's uh, where to put it. Okay, that's the task manager. Um, I'm having a computer which have um, four cores with 2.2. You see, 2.2, that's run up to 3.2. Um, so that's a lot, and I can make it 70% or even less. If you don't have so much better computer, lower it with less. I mean, uh, my friend did it with 5%, and she said the temperature changed a lot. I gave her the same program, so um, find the best for you and change it. Uh, what this actually does is I'll put my high performance mode and look. You see, the speed jumped to more than my my minimal one. So I don't think I need so much. Um, so much power to run whatever I I run. That's why the temperature rise because it run all the time in pretty high speed, even if you don't need it. It's like having a buffer if if you do something really uh, intense, you can handle it. But that's why I have my turbo So if I do something really intense, it will jump and it. Will I mean, I don't think I can use all my four, four cores for whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so, you can lower it even with 5%. Let me make it 95. There we go. Set apply. And it will run on 185, 190, uh, I mean 1000. Um, and the temperature will still be bigger than what I have but it will be less than when I'm on 100% because I was, I'm still not using the highest see it's rising all of it so I'm leaving it on 70 I, I was trying on 75 and it was it was still fine and I thought I can make it even less and I did it and the temperature start getting lower and lower and lower um, did I save it? Yeah, um, so normally my temperature is around um, 42, 45 on my hard drive and now it's so low maybe because I just started it even if I'm recording or this program just take less um, recording uh, power maybe who knows anyway so yeah, that's the method I recommend you. Just lower your maximum processor uh, state and state and find the best for you. I don't think that you need so much um, power. I am playing, I'm playing um, Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost. I'm playing um, WoW, which is pretty pretty bad at the moment I'm lagging a bit when I'm doing orders with 40 people which I believe it's really graphic intense and I always have my Firefox open with at least 10 windows because I have those important tabs that I don't want to close and it's working completely fine and I believe for most of you will work fine um, other method that you can try is remove your battery or lift the laptop a bit off the ground. That's the non-cost methods. And if you want to pay something, just buy a cooling pad. I used to have one on my HP and it was cooling it off so good. Um, you may want to try to clean the dust as well. Just take a vacuum cleaner and suck it out. If not, just open it if you're not afraid of doing it. For new computers, I recommend like after a year after you bought it, and then every half year, or even less if you have stupid cats and dogs. <laughs> and by stupid, I mean uh, kids who are running around, like baby dogs and baby kids who are running around making uh, so much dust and so on. 
um, like the one I have, it's not, it's not little, but it's running around, it's making really dirty. So thank you so much for watching guys, I hope I helped you and make sure you subscribe because at the moment I'm home and I'm making strange tutorials on whatever it came up in my mind or whatever question I have about for myself. I'm just searching for it and I'm making a tutorial and I'm posting it. That's why I got a bit trouble, but I hope I'll not get another one. So thank you so much for watching guys. Bye-bye.